Hey guys, it's Bren, and I'm here with an empties video. I don't usually do empties videos, but uh, hey, you know, <laughs> there's nothing else to talk about right now <laughs> because everything is closed. And actually, that's not true because I do actually have a little Bath & Body Works haul coming. I put it in an order last week. Um, so I will be getting the Raspberry Tangerine Candle. I got a Marble Toffee 2, um, the Isla Margarita Shower Gel, the Vanilla Chiffon Lotion to try, and also the Blueberry Lemonade Soap. So I'm excited for that order because there's some new stuff in there that I can't wait to smell and let you guys know how it is but it hasn't even shipped yet I've gotten a couple notifications from Bath and Body Works saying you know the the order is in progress we're taking extra precautions things are taking a long time and that's fine I get it it's cool but yes it has been a week and I it hasn't even shipped so I don't know when I'll actually have that order in hand and be able to do a haul but being that I've been at home so much, um, pretty much, what are we at, week six now, I think? Been home for almost six weeks, working from home, at home all day, so I've had a chance to burn some candles, and I actually made it a point, I kind of went over to the shelf, the shelf, and uh, I looked at everything I had where I had like a third or less left in it, and kind of purposefully decided, okay, I'm going to use some of these up somewhere, there's just not that much let, let's get them done. And so I have I have a few empties and they're not all Bath and Body Works. I've got a couple other brand candles as well. But anyway, let's get into it. Um, first, I used up a peach sugar cone. You all know how much I like this candle. One of my faves. Bought a bunch more. Uh, I think it's still on the website. Last time I was on there, I did see that they still had it, but it was always online only. You could only ever get it online. Um, it is not the same as their Georgia Peach, uh, but it's not the same as Peach Bellini. It's really not the same as any of their other scents. And I would most closely relate it to the Yankee Candle Peach Cobbler, except that candle, which I love, very, very weak. And this is actually strong and you can smell it. So I really, really enjoyed Peach Sugar Cone. And if you're a dessert person and a peach person, I can't recommend this one enough. And it burned well to the very bottom. You know, it's still, when you get to the very bottom and they still smell good, that really tells you that they didn't get all smoky and gross at the end. And this one still smells good. But yeah, totally put itself out there towards the bottom. And yeah, nothing wrong with this candle. Really, really like it. Um, okay. I used up a banana bunt. Uh, this was the first time banana bunt came out. And of course, now it's come back in in this collection here. Um, and so I can only speak to how this one performed, but it also performed well to the very bottom. It didn't get weird at the end or anything. Actually, I had a really good burn on this one. And I really, I really liked this label. I liked this collection, all the labels and the way that they looked. Um, so this is a jar that I might like clean out and actually keep to use. I don't know. Uh, but I think it's pretty cute. But this is also one of my all time favorite Bath and Body Works. Really the peach sugar cone and the banana bun. I could put those both in definitely my top 15. Maybe they'd probably make the lower top 10 even. Um, they're both really great. Uh, if you like banana bread, this one is so good because I find a lot of banana bread candles from other companies and like the Yankee banana bread, some others that I've tried kind of don't really have a banana scent. And, and I think of Bath and Body Works too way back. They did the banana nutmeg bread pudding candle, which smelled like banana on cold. But when you were burning it, it just kind of smelled like a, a muffin or a cake, but there wasn't really banana. But this, the banana stays. It stays while you're burning it and you get a bakery and banana and it's really good. I love banana bun cake and that one did well for me. I also used up a strawberry pound cake and this was the first you know, packaging of it and now it's come back a few more times. This has really become a big hit for them. Um, every once in a while, you know, a candle comes out and sometimes it's a great scent and then it never comes back again and we all wonder why. And other times it's a great scent and they do it to death. <laughs> and that's the situation with strawberry pound cake. I don't think this one's going anywhere anytime soon. Um, now it's out in a body care. So you know they really popularized on uh, this scent and how much people liked it. My only issue with the scent is I think the name is wrong. I don't think it smells anything like cake or bakery. It smells like a strawberry cream saver, as I've said many times before. You get strawberries, you get cream, but you don't get any bakery, you don't get any cake. I think strawberries and cream would be like a much more appropriate name for this candle, but it's probably not as cute or as catchy, but it just doesn't smell like cake. I just, I have an issue with it. I'm sure if I thought about it, I could come up with a name that would be cute and makes sense, but I'm not going to worry about it. However, so many people love this candle and I like it a lot, but it's not a top 10 for me. I don't know that it'd even be a top 20. I enjoy it. 
I have a few. I think I have like three more. Um, but it's not like, it's not like Blueberry Pie where I bought 10. You know, like I don't love it. Some people do. Some people are nuts over this. I, I certainly don't have a problem with it. And this one burned well too. I had no issues with this one either. Just burned all the way down, put itself out. Good to the last drop, so to speak. If you've never tried strawberry pound cake, you're probably going to like it. I mean, there's no reason not to like it unless you don't like overly sweet scents maybe. Okay, now we're getting into some more older ones and weirder ones, a little bit. Um, I finished up a white mint latte. I had this one sitting on my shelf forever with like this much left. And so even though it's a winter scent, I was like, I, I'm going to burn this up. Um, I wasn't burning it for a long time because I didn't have any more. Uh, but then at the last semi-annual sale, I was able to grab two more that I found for 25% off, like plus coupon. I got them super cheap. So now that I have more of this, um, this was the first first time it came out. The ones I got at SAS are from the next year when they came out, um, which was two years ago. <laughs> but uh, I decided to finally use this up since there just wasn't that much left. This is my favorite mint chocolatey scent. It's not really mint chocolate, you know, but I think it smells like mint and white chocolate. I think it smells kind of like a, a minty white mocha from Starbucks, that kind of thing. Um, but it's my favorite minty dessert scent from them. Oh, I just realized just now that my cat <laughs> is back there because she started grooming. Uh, hey, Clover. Hey, baby. Say hi to the people. Oh, and I was covering her up. She turned around and looked. Say hi. Like, yeah, what? I'm trying to watch the birds. Leave me alone. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, so um, white mint latte, it's a good one. I like it. It didn't come back this year, so I don't know what the story is and if it'll ever come back again, but um, I like it better than mint chocolate. I like it even better than peppermint brownie. That would probably be my second favorite, uh, but it's good. So I used that one up, and that one burned well to the end, too. Okay, this was another one where I was like, I haven't burned that in a long time, but I have two of them, and this one only has like a fourth left, so let's use it up, and that's Harvest Pear. Um, so, oh, I got, I got them both in the background now. Hey, Riv. <laughs> They've been in all of my like Zoom meetings for work and everything, too, and in the morning, Clover's always like right in front of the camera, and she'll knock it, and I'll be in a meeting, and I'll be like, this is going on. They're like, do you have an earthquake? Nope, that's my cat. Uh, but anyway, so Harvest Pear, it's good. Um, it only came out the one time. What was this? 2016, 17? 17. 2017. Um, it's kind of like this buttery crust note. And then you get like a little bit of pear. And it really does smell like pear. It doesn't smell like apple or something, any, anything else. It's, it's, it's pear, um, which is nice because you don't get that all the time. Sometimes candles that say pear kind of smell like general fruitiness or they smell like apple um but i did feel like this smell kind of like what i would imagine like a pear cobbler i don't think that's a thing it might actually be kind of gross if you made it but it had like a cobbler feel and then like a pear note um it was kind of a medium strength it's not something where like like i said i've got one more and that's why i used this one up it's not something where like i'm dying for it to come back i don't know if it came back if i'd even need any more but it was definitely good and i wouldn't i wouldn't think it was weird if it came back um, but yes, I used that one up and I feel like this one got a little bit of puny wick syndrome towards the bottom, but it still, it still did okay. That last burn didn't have enough in it to do a full pool, <laughs> but, uh, that was probably my fault because I probably put it out too close to the end and then tried to relight it. Okay. There's only one more Bath and Body Works candle here. Uh, so a summer boardwalk from 2013. Actually, I think I could probably burn this one more time. It didn't put itself out. But I just can't take it anymore, you guys. It's too strong. And this had like this much left. And I was like, okay, I'm finally going to use up that summer boardwalk. But oh, man, you know, this scandal is so strong. So every time I lit it up, it was like, oh. There was one day where um, I had something in the garbage. I think I had like onions in the garbage from the night before. So I woke up and I was like, uh oh, I should have taken that garbage out. And then I was like, I'll just light summer boardwalk and definitely took care of it. Uh, but yes, it's, ah, it does bring me back. This is kind of a nostalgic scent for me because the first time I ever burned it was in 2013. This is the 2013 limited edition. Um, and this was the first year that I really got into Bath & Body Works candles was 2013. It was the first year I really kind of started collecting, you know, and buying multiples and, and paying attention and watching YouTube videos on the candles. So this reminds me of old school Bath & Body Works, but 
It's just so strong and so sweet. It was hard for me to let it pool all the way out before I put it out. I made it this far. <laughs> that last burn might never happen. I have another one of these unburned, so it's not like I need to hang on to this for any reason. If I ever felt like burning it again, I have that other one. But I just don't know. This isn't something that I ever really reached for just to like burn. It's something I would reach for if I had like something smelling bad and I needed to cover it up. <laughs> um, a lot of people do really like this scent. It's just super strong and super sweet. But it does have an essence of like carnival food. You know, it almost smells like fattening and oily and all of that. But yes, I think it's supposed to be like funnel cakes or something. Okay, so it says caramel glazed popcorn, taffy apples, salted sweet cream. Yeah, I guess like caramel glazed popcorn, it kind of smells like that. Very slight apple kind of note. But like, yes, just so sweet. But I finally, I finally got that one burned down. Okay, so I also used up a couple candles. And then I've got some soaps too, I'll show you, because why not? A couple candles that were not Bath & Body Works candles. Um, I used up a Pier 1 candle, the Strawberry Apple Galette. This candle. This makes my top 10. This candle blows a lot of Bath & Body Works candles out of the water. It's so freaking good. The only thing about it is their lids are super cheap and like plastic. Uh, but oh, this scent. So because I'm a Bath & Body Works collector, when a candle comes out, from Bath & Body Works that I really love, like Blueberry Pie, I will buy a lot of them. And I know that they don't ever come back and other things. Um, when this Pure One candle came out, I knew I really loved it and I have two more. I think I bought three. If it had been a Bath & Body Works candle, I probably would have bought a lot more. And I'm like thinking like, why is that though? You know, and I guess it's just cause I don't know. I'm in the habit of buying a lot of Bath & Body Works candles. I don't necessarily buy a ton of candles from other companies and, I don't know. Like I said, I bought three and now I kind of wish I had more because I've only got two more. Uh, and this is so, so good. And I don't know with Pier One if they're ever going to bring back scents. They haven't been doing candles long enough to really know. But if I had to guess, I'd say like, probably not. Like you'll probably never be able to get this again. But it was amazing. Amazing. I don't even know how to describe it. It's definitely got like a bakery cake tart kind of feel. Sort of, it smells like if you had like a strawberry or a fruity, um, I mean, I guess it kind of smells like this. I don't know that I've ever had a galette, but I looked it up and it, it kind of looks like a tart type situation, but I think of like a Danish, kind of smells like a, a strawberry Danish or something, um, but like a little warmer than that. I don't know, but it's so good. Uh, so I'm sad, <laughs> that kind of sad that I used that one up. But again, I do have two more. Okay, and then I used up a Pure Integrity candle. Uh, so this was one my friend Patricia gave me, and it's a grape candle. And when she gave it to me, there was only like this much in there. And I had slowly been working on it, and then I just decided, okay, it's time for time to get this one out of the drawer and use it up. It's just called Grape. That's it. Um, it smells like grape nerds. Grape candy, totally. Grape pixie sticks, that kind of thing. I think nerds is probably the closest thing because it's really, or grape bubblicious gum perhaps. It's really got a tartness. There's there's a zingy sourness to it, uh, which is kind of cool, but not everybody might not, it's not for everybody. Everybody might not like that is what I'm trying to say here. Um, but it certainly was kind of fun to burn. It really made this place smell like candy. Um, it was, it was good. And these candles burn fantastic. And if you're looking for a soy based candle that is strong, I, I do recommend Pure Integrity. I have several of their candles. I did a whole video on them once on my channel. So you can go find that search Pure Integrity. Um, if you want to hear me talk more about these candles, but they are strong for soy. It's a hundred percent soy wax. So it's a clean burn. Uh, and a lot of times those candles aren't that strong, but these, these are pretty strong. And they're good. And this one, I really, I did like it. I enjoyed it. So use that up. That was all the candles that I've used so far. However, though, I think I said it over here. Oh yeah, I'm almost done with PBJ. I was going to wait to film this video until I got through this. Uh, I'm not through it yet. This one has a few more burns. This one really does give you like a dark ring though. Look at that. You can tell where it's been melted down and where it hasn't. But it still smells good despite the fact that it's gotten dark. 
Um, this is such a quintessential Bath and Body Works candle for me. I think I probably said when I was reviewing it that PBJ reminds me of how just like Bath and Body Works smells. It kind of smells like all their candles put together. Um, and it doesn't really smell like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I don't really get any peanut butter. I do get like a jelly and sort of like a perfumey bakery scent. That's why it kind of smells like Bath and Body Works to me because it's kind of got like a perfumey, but then it's also got like a fruity. Um, and I like it. It's definitely more fall. I'm not really feeling it for this time of year. And that's why I've been trying to use it up, but I was like, no, uh, let me just get this video filmed. But anyway, little little preview empty. I'm not totally done with it, but I will be soon. So I'm just throwing it into this video so I can get the video filmed. Almost done with the PBJ. I do like the PBJ. It's different. It's weird. With that one, people were very split. It was like, you liked it or you didn't like it. And there were a lot of opinions on it. <laughs> All right. I used a Bakila and Biscotti soap. Um, that's a great one. Smells like key lime pie. I used up an Island papaya soap. This is very like regular. Um, it's very normal. Um, what am I trying to say? It's basic. <laughs> it smells good, but it's not that interesting. And then here's another almost empty, but I'm throwing it in anyway, because I want to talk about it. My peeling good banana soap is almost gone. And I was using it, I had this one in the kitchen and then I moved it to the bedroom because I'm going through soap in my kitchen a lot faster. Every time I get the mail, bring the trash in, anything, go to the store, you know, washing up afterwards. And I was using this and then I was going to get more and then I realized that it sold out. I can't get it anymore. And so I was like, oh no. So I switched it. So now this one's in my uh, bedroom where I don't use soap as often. If I had kept it in the kitchen, it would be gone. Now I've got the cotton candy skies in the kitchen and that one's almost gone too. But the peeling good, I really like it. It's like a banana candy, which I don't really like to eat banana candy, but it smells good in a soap and it's different. It's unique. It's kind of fun. I think it's really cute. It's got a little cute name and I'm sad that it's sold out online anyway. I kind of wonder if like when the stores open again, if you'll be able to find like this and other things that are sold out online because they're just sitting in the store right now because the stores had this before like the shutdown and shelter in place started. So maybe there, my store is still sitting full of these, you know, with just no one in there. I don't know, maybe, but yeah, the soap on the website has just been selling out so quickly. I was going to get, uh, uh, I was going to do like the buy six for whatever it is last order that I put in. And then I ended up just getting one blueberry lemonade to try because the other soaps that my mom and I together wanted were all gone. Cause I didn't realize they're flying out of there like that. Um, but yes, my peeling good is gone and the lime sea salt. My mom wanted more of that one. She really liked it. That was gone. Um, so yeah. Uh, but anyway, so that is my empties video for the first six weeks of quarantine empty so far. I have like some candles that have half left, uh, half a blueberry pie, toasted coconut s'mores is half gone. Right now I'm burning. The one that's missing back there is guava pina colada. That's half gone. I've got half a mango Mai Tai. So those are all things that like I could have kept going and burning those. Those are on my list to burn next. And I could have done one big empties video, but I decided to show these so I can get them out of here. <laughs> and um, maybe I'll have another empties video depending on how long this goes on. And it looks like it might go on for quite some time still. Uh, so anyway, we'll see, but stay tuned, subscribe to check out my haul. I'm really excited to, to give you my thoughts on all the new stuff that I bought whenever I do get that next order. Um, but in the meantime, I hope you all are well. I hope you're staying safe and staying home and, uh, I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching again. Bye. Say bye to the people. Oh, are you coming over? Come here. Go. Da -da. Bye. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Are you going to bite me just to show me like I'm not a fan of this. I'm not a fan, mom. Put me down. <laughs>